So we know that Procreate is the best drawing art painting app for uh, iPhones, but I use a Samsung Galaxy Tab A size 10 because my budget is cheaper and honestly, I am totally fine with this quick little alternative that I found and I'll be sharing that with you. Hey, welcome back. This is Satria, C-E-T-R-I-Y-A, and today I'm going to be sharing three apps that I like. The first app is what I use to screen record my actual Galaxy Tab, and it is called DC Screen Recorder. Uh, pretty simple. Right now I'm using the free version, and you can see right here, you can use live videos, you can edit the videos, trim the videos, and whatnot, and it's pretty easy. Uh, filing system that they have going on here and at the end of the day all I have to do is hook it up to my computer using a basic USB cord and download the files. So that's my first favorite app. My second little app that I have is called Magic Poser and as you can see here it's basically a 3D modeling rendering app and I like to use these for highly complex looking um, poses and the fact that I could screen cap it and save it and put it into my images. There's also a lot of pre-done downloadable um, 3D renders, poses, groups, and right now I am using the free version. I believe the non-free version, which is about $8, does not include um, more than two characters, but it has everything I need here. I can move the poses, change the lighting scenes, up, down, left, right completely, and just get the pose just almost right to where I need it to go. And some of the models are the basic characters that you see here, but you can easily get some manga style looking characters and really get a general sense of the profile of the faces. And of course, if you have a little bit of cash, you can also purchase some props and wares and things like that. But as I said, I am using the free version and about the only thing it seems like that the paid version, which I think is $8, is the amount of people you can put here. Anyhow, let's get to the feature actual program, which is a Procreate alternative and it's called Infinite Painter. So as you can see here, you can go pretty large in terms of the file size. The only thing is it all depends on your actual equipment, if it can handle a larger artboard or not. But I figure at 2000 to 1500 to 2000 pixels, that is high enough resolution that you should not have a problem in putting that into say your Photoshop or some other desktop um, digital painting program and also the fact that if you don't mind the 2000 pixels you can easily go ahead and print that as maybe a postcard size. Anyhow the reason why I love this app is there's so many options here so many brushes so many um, tools you have the mirroring tool um, you actually have pen sensitivity to an extent and for those of you who use a Samsung regular tab I don't know if the Samsung Pro has more but the regular tab does not have an actual um, I guess engine or something or another that gives it that pen sensitivity but for somehow this program is able to capture it and it has really nice watercolor features but for the most part I have not used this app all that much I've only been using it for a couple of months and I have not used it for any major painting or anything because I honestly do like to go back into my desktop app but it does have a lot of blending features watercolor features and um subtle smudging features and all that good stuff but for the most part i love its inking process and i'll be using that for my webcomic there's a lot of things that you can do for modifying the brushes you can set the opacity the flow you have layer functions here you have a lot of tools that you can see from gradients to pattern fill to my favorite which is the perspective tool it has both one point perspective and two point perspective and you can see the handles to move the perspective is pretty simple and when it's turned on you can see a little icon on the top right that says it's a two point perspective when it's turned on it snaps all your brushes your, your erasers and everything else to the plane but you can turn it off and then just draw loosely over it but you could also turn it back on and it will memorize your last set settings there's also 3d or three-dimensional perspective three-point perspective and again it's really nice in locking in your brushes so you could put in like the bones and stuff 
for any kind of interior or exterior and then afterwards you can turn it off and add in more of the organic work and as I said since this program have multiple layers you can go ahead and add several layers and draw on top of the backbone or you can um, change the blending mode for layers and whatnot at the end of the day though you do need to understand general under you know perspective notes and stuff like that not to say that I'm the best at it but you will need to know general rules of perspective that even though you get a perspective tool, it's not going to make it, you know, automatically um, correct. And the last bit of perspective tool that I thought was really interesting, and I think it's kind of in the rage right now, and that is curv curvier, curv curvilinear perspective. Wow, that was a mouthful. Anyways, curvilinear perspective, and it's not something that I normally use, but I, I figure for those of you who do want to use it, it'd be quite interesting to you guys for that. Anyhow. There's a lot more towards this little app. It has some of the Photoshop features such as warp tools and twistings and stuff like that and blending and liquify and even more that I have yet to really get, you know, get used to using it. There's manga tones, um, there's different kinds of inking tools. And again, I'm still getting used to this program. Um, I will say that drawing on the tablet is still weird to me, but it's pretty cool. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video of my three apps that I've been using for general sketches of my comic I hope you guys leave any comments or questions below if you have anything you want to ask me about and be sure to subscribe and sign up for my emailing list for goodies and freebies and downloads I'll see you guys next week in my next video